Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm up and at it early this morning. I was taking the day off today because I worked hard yesterday. I normally take Mondays off and try to do absolutely nothing. But since I did not, I'm at it again early this morning. I was minding my own business, so I started snooping around the refrigerator and the freezer to get me something to fix for breakfast. So, this is what I came up with for my breakfast. Let me tell y'all something. This little griddle here, this is the best little apparatus I have bought in a long time. It is a sunbeam countertop griddle. It cooks everything from sausage, eggs, and bacon to toast. This is some stuff that I, I found this little gem right here. This is a piece of Asiago bread that I bought from um, the Great Harvest Bakery. And I had it in the freezer. So I put it on the grill, heated it up, toasted it up, heated up my sausage, got me two sausage patties, found them in the refrigerator. Didn't know what I was going to eat for breakfast this morning. But here we go. There's my breakfast, y'all. I got me some nice, fresh strawberries, some nice, fresh blueberries, and you know it got some cheese. Can y'all tell I love cheese? A nice hot cup of coffee. I'm going to sit back and relax and enjoy this little meal. So I just thought I'd throw that in because guess what? I got another, another little gem for you. I'm going to be doing something sweet today, and you guessed it. I want to be using blueberries and strawberries. So if you give me a minute to sit down and relax and enjoy this little bite before I get started, I've got a treat for you. So hold on tight and I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Too loose. Okay, y'all, I am back. I've, I'm done with my nice breakfast. I'm feeling energized. I tell you what, I feel like more than ever, I'm ready to cook, 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 cook. Now, this is an unscheduled meal here today. So. Uh, well, not really a meal. It's going to be some good old-fashioned bread pudding. Now, I could call it dump pudding because what I did when I went into my refrigerator and went into my freezer, and I was just looking, I thought I got blueberries, strawberries. I got all this leftover good old bread. I got some raisin bread in there and some Hawaiian rolls in there. So, I don't want to throw that bread out. And I don't know if the birds like razor bread or not. So I decided I'm going to make some good old fashioned, you said it, bread pudding. So it could be called dump pudding, like I said, because I'm going to dump a lot of stuff in here probably that you never would have thought that you would have even ever put in there. So see all my ingredients are laid out here. And if you give me a minute, I'm going to get started putting them together. I need to turn the TV down. It's sort of competing with me. Okay, I got it turned down. I put it on quiet. I like watching The Bachelorette. And when I'm home during the day, sometimes I'll go ahead and turn that on. Because usually at night, if I try to watch it, I'll get sleepy and nod on it. And I won't quite get it watched. So, here's what we got for this bread pudding. I've got some fresh blueberries, some fresh strawberries. I've got some uh, leftover Hawaiian rolls. Uh, some leftover cinnamon bread. I've got some eggs rather just one egg and a couple of uh, evaporated milk i've got in there so i'm going to put some melted butter and guess what this is y'all y'all know what it is this is the bottom of a bottle of my peach wine so <laughs> you know what it's going to be like when i get this all cooked up of course, I got my trusted old brown sugar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting this together. And as I go along, I'll tell you what I'm doing. So let's recap the ingredients. I'm going to use uh, three-fourths of a cup of blueberries, a cup of sliced strawberries, on which I put um, some stevia. Because those strawberries were kind of tart, so they were a little bit too tart. So I put a packet of stevia on it to kind of sweeten them up a little bit. But if your strawberries are sweet... Don't bother about it. Then I'm going to be using nine Hawaiian rolls and four slices of raisin bread. And what I've done with the raisin bread is just broke it up into pieces. Then I've whipped up one egg, one cup of milk, and to that I added one eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Remember I told you with those candy yams, please be careful with the nutmeg because it's very strong if you put too much. Uh, you're going to be biting off more than you want to chew. So an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, okay? Then I'm going to put one stick of melted butter in it. And this is uh, probably a little over a fourth of a cup 
of peach homemade my homemade kicking peach wine i'm going to pour that in there for flavor and of course i'm going to put one cup of brown packed and remember we're using brown sugar too i don't know if i mentioned it before make sure that you pack that brown sugar so you get the um the result of a full half cup of or a full cup of whatever you're trying to do pack that brown sugar down so you can make sure you have enough sugar going on in it so what i'm going to do first i'm going to pour my liquids over my dry uh ingredients which is i'm going to go ahead and start with my peach i'm going to swizz it around a little bit and i'm just going to pour it over there pour 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 and I'm going to leave just a little bit of it because, you know, when you get this uh, bread pudding or duck pudding mixed up, you got to have a little glaze to go with it. And I want a little bit of that schnapps, or rather, I'm counting the peach schnapps, a little bit of that peach wine to put into some uh, confectioner sugar so we can make something to drizzle over. We'll talk about that when we get to that point. Next, I'm going to pour my egg and milk mixture over it because what you want it to do you want all this to soak in to the bread it's gonna have to sit a little bit and you're gonna have to mash it up with a spoon and and if it because bread you know sometimes when you wet it it sort of gets uh, I guess sort of pulley and I think that's because of the yeast so if it gets pulley on me what I'll do is I put on a glove and I'll glove and I'll just um, continue to squeeze it through and you know sort of mash it together so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to uh let that milk egg i got one cup of milk one egg one tablespoon of vanilla flavor and one eighth a teaspoon of um the nutmeg in that mixture so and the reason i do that is so that those flavors will evenly distribute throughout the bread so you won't have more on one side than the other so remember you're going to mix your milk egg nutmeg and flavor together in a bowl okay then when you get that all done you're going to have to continue mixing it until you get it all mixed up together so what i'm going to do i'm going to go away for a little bit and i'm, I'm going to continue to mix that dry mixture with that egg mixture until i get it to the consistency that i want it then i'm going to add my one cup of strawberries and three-fourths a cup of blueberries in it and then I'll just pour my but my melted butter over into it and then I'll add my one cup of brown sugar and we'll mix it real good and I've greased already I've greased a baking dish here my nice little red baking dish I got it all nice and greased up got my oven set at 350 degrees and I'm gonna pop it in the oven for a good hour and then when it comes out, I'm going to show y'all what it looks like with a nice little glaze go that goes over. So for right now, I'm going to sign off for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to be back and let you see what it looks like be right before it goes into the oven. So too little for a minute or two. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I've got it all stirred, mixed, and in the pan. It's ready to go into a 350 degree oven for about an hour and 15, 20 minutes. And we're going to bring it out and we're going to cool it off. And I'm going to make a glaze to go over it. And I'll show, the, show you what it looks like when I get it all done. Now, what you see on top there, the little darker caramelized looking thing, uh, color there, that's because I sprinkled about a tablespoon of brown sugar on top of it. So when it, as it bakes, it'll, it'll get a little crispy taste, a little crispy texture rather, on top. Okay, uh, and as you notice, I only put one cup of packed brown sugar so it's not an overly sweet dessert but it's sweet enough to let you know it's dessert and it also allows you to put that glaze on top so it doesn't get too too sweet you can serve it plain like it is with a cup of coffee or you can put a big heaping scoop or two of guess what homemade vanilla blueberry ice cream my favorite ice cream in the world or you can just top it with some fresh strawberries blueberries or whatever you like serve it the way you like it because that's what i'm going to do this will serve probably 10 people and you know what i went shopping in the refrigerator and in the fridge found all these ingredients stuff i forgot was sitting around here so i've got a uh midweek dessert that i know my kids are going to enjoy when i call them up and tell them guess what i baked because i don't normally do desserts 
but here is a family favorite that when I do it we all love it and it's something that I do every once in a while can you tell it's getting toward well yeah maybe not that close but for me in my mind we're getting close to the holidays and I get into that baking mood because I don't do baking until the holidays y'all so I guess this is a precursor to the holidays so Here's what we're going to do. We're going to pop it in the oven for an hour and 15 to 20 minutes on 350 degrees. And when it comes out, I'll let you see what it looks like. So, too loop for a while. Okay, as you can see, it's out of the oven. I've already taken my slice right out of the corner there. As you can see, it's beautifully baked. You can see the blueberries, the strawberries, and you can see that brown sugar on top. There's my slice on the plate right there. I'm getting ready to sit down with a glass of cold ice water and try this bread dump pudding, this um, dump bread pudding out. Okay, so now I've also made up a little glaze to go with. And by the way, this is still piping hot. I like my pie cake or whatever. I like to eat it hot. So what I did, I just put a um, six strawberries, a cup of powdered sugar, uh two tablespoons full of um that peach wine that i had uh a teaspoon of vanilla flavor i put it in the blender blended it up and made it into sort of a, a like a drizzle i'll call it a drizzle to go over this bread pudding and then i took two more strawberries and just chopped them as you can see the pieces of strawberry i sort of chopped them up a little bit and just sort of mixed them around in there and poured them into uh, that mixture so I've got this strawberry drizzle over this bread put dump bread pudding that I've put everything I could find in my refrigerator so go back watch the tape in its entirety and try you a pan of dump bread pudding it's wonderful I wish you could smell it I wish you could smell it smells so good so I'm gonna get off of here and get over to the table and sit down and this is gonna be sort of like my lunch today I'm gonna have me a, this bread pudding some cold water and I'm gonna be on my way so go ahead view the video get the recipe and try it it's quick easy and so delicious if y'all were nearby I'd tell y'all to come on by and have a slice because I'm telling you the truth it's smelling good so I'm gonna say toodaloo for now so Hope you try this recipe and enjoy. Thank you for tuning in to Lou.